Hey, what's up guys? This is David the Skin King here from AcneRacingSecrets.com. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about emotional stress and acne and the relation between these two. Now, I think this is going to be one of the best videos I've ever created because um, I haven't gone into much detail and depth in this yet. I want to get more into detail so you can understand what this does in the body and things you can do to avoid emotional stress and stress in general too. So, first let me talk about emotional stress. Um, what I mean by that is uh, negative, basically negative emotions or, uh, for example, depression, sadness, anger, fear, hate, anything that comes out of a negative, um, you know, kind of like a negative vibration or a negative vibe in a sense. Um, anything that's hasty, kind of, you know, that type of feeling and emotion. Um, so emotional stress is something, it's based on how you feel, it really is. Um, and stress in the body is really based on how you feel too. So there's emotional stress where it's like, you know, how you feel. It's how you feel about yourself. It's how you feel about the world around you. And it's just your, your angle, your perception of everything. And if you have a negative viewpoint and, and vantage point um, of the world around you, then that's going to be negative emotional stress, which is going to cause problems in your body. And then there's stress, there's typical stress, where you have um, basically, you know, things in your life that may be stressful situations, and you, you kind of react to them stressed instead of you know, coping with them and kind of dealing with them in a certain way. So, um, basically, um, the, well, I'm going to talk about both of these today, but um, emotions and stress. Uh, anytime you have a negative, uh, kind of like a fear-based or, uh, you know, like I said, anger, hate, any type of stress that's based around those things. And, like, for example, stress, let's say you're stressed because of finances or school or something like that. Um, let's say, you know, you're, you're stressed because of school, because people at school or whatever. Um, when you're stressed because of those things, um, your body actually goes into overdrive and it causes problems in the body. And it doesn't matter what you're stressed about. You could be stressed about school, things outside of you, or you could be have emotional stress and emotional baggage because your emotions are just imbalanced. You're, you're unhappy, you're angry, you're, you're upset, you're sad, you're depressed, you have acne, whatever it may be. Um, so, first of all, emotions in the body do a, a, quite a few different things. Um, or excuse me, emotions and stress. It's really a combination of both of those because there's emotions that affect your body and stress that affects your body. And really when you have negative emotions, it really is negative stress. So they both coincide with each other and it's important to understand to keep both of them positive and uh, to, to uh, you know, not have negative emotional or stressful situations and if you can, how to deal and cope with them properly. So um, getting into what, first what these do in the body. Um, negative emotions and stress actually do several things in the body. The first thing they do when, stress is on, when the body is stressed, whether it's emotional stress based on you, know, you perceiving yourself in the mirror with your acne or someone you know, judging externally or you're feeling stress externally and pressure on you, whatever it may be, any of those things that fall into any of you know, those categories, what happens is your body uh, has an anti-inflammatory response when your body is stressed. And that basically what that means is um, it's, it's going to react to that stress and it's going to become more inflamed, okay? And as we know, acne is not good when inflammation occurs in the body because it's just going to become larger and you know, grow out of control and become even worse. Um, so that's that's one thing it does, and you know I, I I I didn't read this anywhere online, but this just makes sense to me. I believe the reason our bodies uh, produce uh, infl you know inflame more in a sense, it's probably for protection because our bodies have a very interesting way of protecting ourselves. So we have stress on our body. Inflammation is probably to protect our body and kind of give us a wall of protection in a sense, our organs or whatever it may be. I just that's my opinion. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, so it produces a, a, a anti inflammatory, um, and when I say anti-inflammatory, anti -inflammatory, I mean anti as in, I don't mean anti-inflammatory as in uh, non-inflammatory, I mean uh, as a result of the stress, I guess I should say inflammatory. Um, it's inflammatory, your body inflames more when, you know, stress is on the body, emotional or whatever kind of stress. So um, that will cause your breakouts to become you know, further worse, and uh, that stress will cause, you know, obviously breakouts to grow even further, and, or for them to break out again. Um, and the other thing it does in the body is uh, it actually causes stress on your adrenal glands. And your adrenal glands are kind of like your gland that, um, when, when you're working really hard, for example, or when you're like wor way overworking yourself, or just staying up and not getting enough rest, and, and these types of things, your adrenal glands are the first, is the gland that gets shot, in a sense, it gets, it gets affected negatively. Um, so, 
um, one of the things to give your adrenal gland some rest is actually just sleep. Laying down, um, just laying down actually like deactivates your adrenal gland, so it makes it that it's, it gives it a break and it lets it rest in a sense. So sleeping is obviously a big portion, but if you work too much and you sleep too little, your adrenal glands will get affected. But that's another thing that stress, emotional stress, and stress will do in the body is actually affects your adrenal glands and it puts them into overdrive, which what, what that happens then is it produces um, androgens, which is a hormone. When that hormone increases in both male and females, um, your adrenal glands are stressed, but then that hormone increases and that hormone will cause more acne breakouts. So not only do we have stress affecting you know, the body and emotional stress affecting the body in terms of uh, in inflaming in the body, but then you also have your, your hormone levels increasing, androgens from the adrenal glands, which will cause even more breakouts. Um, another thing emotional baggage and stress does in the body is it actually slows the healing process of your body. Your body has a natural healing process. Your body naturally heals your skin. New skin cells are growing all the time. And the rate of which the skin cells grow and recover to create new skin cells that are healthy depends on your diet, what you're putting on your skin and in your body, and the, the stress and all these different factors. So um, stress actually slows the healing process in your body. If you have a cold, if you're sick, if you have cancer, if you have diabetes, if you have you know um, acne, pimples, zits, eczema, rosacea, cystic acne, vulgaris acne, whatever type of acne, skin breakouts, anything that you have, the process of healing that slows down when you have stress and uh, you know that negative strain on the body, um, whether it's emotional stress or external related stress or pressure type stress. So um, that's another thing that it does. And it keeps going, the list keeps going, yep. The next thing it does is stress actually affects your digestive, digestive system. Now your just digestive system is extremely important because what happens is uh, your, your digestive system, most people that have acne, um, are deficient in certain nutrients that their digestive system need in order to flush out toxins out of the body. Because what happens a lot of times is when you get acne, the toxins and things in your body that are foreign to the body try to escape your body because your body just wants to get rid of them because it doesn't know what to do with it. It honestly is confused. Your body is, okay, it's not a vitamin, it's not a mineral, it's not a nutrient. It's a, it's a, it's a GMO, it's a genetically modified ingredient, or it's some toxin or preservative. I don't know what this is. And it tries to escape your body, break out through your skin. Because your body needs to cleanse these things out of your body, otherwise your body overloads with them and you're, you're going to die if it overloads with too much because your body cannot handle the toxicity of your body um, to function like it should. So um, basically, you know, what, what happens is stress causes your digestive system to be less effective and slow down. And that means that your toxins are going to build up more and it's going to cause more problems not only with your skin and your health, but just overall just energy levels and, you know, bloating and, and gaining weight. And there's a lot of factors that can go into play there. So it also affects your digestive system. The next thing, it's, this is the last one, so the last thing that I've read, <laughs> that I've learned, is probably, there's probably even more, but the last thing I've read, uh, stress and, and this kind of thing affects, is uh, your immune system. Now your immune system is crucial in uh, fighting uh, bad bacteria in the body. And bacteria is one of the things that causes uh, you know, your acne to grow. And your immune system is one of the things that's going to fight that bad bacteria. So when your immune system is shot or weakened, it's going to have a harder time fighting that bacteria, which is causing your acne. So um, really, you really don't want to mess with your immune system. You want your immune system to be as strong as possible. You want to give your immune system vitamin D. Vitamin, you want your immune system to have power packed with minerals and nutrients and, and vitamins because immune system fights disease as well that are, you know, even bigger and more major. So, um, immune system, uh, digestive system, adrenal glands producing a hormone which increases acne, inflammation of your body and skin cells, um, and then also uh, stress and it will slow the healing process as well, um, which will slow the, uh, you know, the healing of your acne and your skin and keeping it clear. So, that's like five things that stress does in the body. Um, that make your acne worse, and uh, you know that, like I said, that includes emotional stress, uh, sadness, depression, anger, hate, resentment, fear, any negative-based emotion uh, or negative vibe that you know you get um, internally that you think that you feel that you like feel as you know you actually feel it. That's going to cause stress. The next thing that causes stress is external pressure that you take on, um, meaning you know maybe from 
school, your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your aunts, your uncles, your grandma, your grandpa, whatever, your friends, you know, whatever. Um, this external stress uh, will cause, you know, stress in your body. And the more stress you have in your body, the more of those five problems will happen, uh, which will, you know, cause your acne to not heal as quickly and, you know, regenerate your skin cells as quickly and, and heal and recover. So, um, really, uh, here's what you can do. And, you know, I talked about what it does in the body. Here's what you can do to reduce emotional um, baggage, emotional stress, and to reduce uh, stress as well. Um, one thing I recommend first is uh, actually meditation. Um, just sitting down for five minutes in complete silence and not thinking about anything and just being quiet. And you can even hum if you want to. I mean, you don't need to, but it is amazing. Um, I actually, there's a crazy story I have about meditation, but it's kind of, it's all kind of off topic. But basically, I meditated. For, the first time I meditated, um, a name came into my head, and then that person messaged me um, later on that day, and I didn't even realize it until like a day later, and I, I freaked out. I was like, oh my God, I need to meditate more often, because this is like, this is something that, you know, they should teach meditation in school, I promise you. It's, meditation reduces stress, emotional baggage, um, it helps, it's just, it clears your mind and your thoughts, like it's amazing for your body. You're going to feel so much better, and I, I need to start meditating more, because I haven't really been doing it much, but... Um, I highly recommend meditation. Um, another thing I recommend to reduce stress, just getting a good night's sleep and eating healthy as well. Um, when, you, when you eat healthy, when you get a good night's sleep, um, you re that helps your body recover and rejuvenate quicker. And that's just going to, if you do have stress, that's going to help recover. Um, the next thing I recommend is actually, believe it or not, juggling. Um, I actually juggle all the time. And uh, it's quite fun. And it's, it actually reduces stress and actually improves your cognitive function. So it actually makes you smarter. And it's fun. So if you want to learn how to juggle, it's pretty fun. And I recommend it. Um, another thing too is exercise. Um, just going on walks. And you have to watch the videos I made about exercising because you don't want to do certain types of exercise because it actually causes stress in the body. So I recommend really uh, just going on walks. Just walking. That's going to reset your body. Uh, your your uh, circadian rhythm, your lymph system is going to get moving, it's going to help flush out toxins out of your body. It just keeps your body healthy and regulated in a sense, walks do. So walks are very great for that um, and, and great for reducing stress as well. Um, another thing is just breathing. You know, a lot of times in life we breathe through our chests and our mouth and that's not how you're supposed to breathe. You want to breathe through your nose, like that, back and forth, just through your nose, and through your gut, through your stomach. So when I inhale, my nose inhales and then my stomach you know, increases in size, and then when I exhale, push out, the, my stomach is going to decrease. Um, your nose acts as a filter for oxygen, like an like a, you know, air filter almost, to keep the oxygen clean and healthy for your body. So it, it gives your body cleaner oxygen, which is actually good for your clear skin too. But it's also just going to reduce stress. Take deep breaths, breathe through your nose, keep your mouth closed. Um, the other thing too is a lot of times when we breathe through our mouth, we get dust in our mouth and things in our mouth and the air, and that's just gross. And the nose actually filters that because of... That's the way it's actually made. So breathe through your nose, keep your mouth closed, uh, and breathe through your stomach. Um, so just, you know, breathe, smile, meditate, juggle, go on walks, you know, get a good, good night's rest. Um, the other thing I recommend, too, and this is a little, little off topic, but um, for me personally, um, one of the things I don't like to have in my life in terms of, you know, um, uh, you know, because it could cause emotional and, and stress um, is fear. Now, there's two emotions, fear and love-based emotions. It was what it really breaks down to. And a lot of times, a lot of things that are in our environment, in our life, are really fear-based. They're really based on, you know, being scarcity and not enough and get what you can and hoard and hoard, you know, whatever you can and greed and take and get from the world. And, like, there's all this, like, you know, that kind of stuff out there. And, and the thing is, a lot of that's in our environment. So what I recommend is I recommend you don't watch the news. That's the first thing. When you watch the news, you hear about, you know, the latest, in, you know, killings and, you know, bombs and murders and rapes and, like, all this horrible stuff that, that you know, you don't need to hear about. That only thing that does, even if you don't feel the stress from it, you know, consciously at the time, um, that causes stress in your body because it's in your consciousness. And when your mind has fear-based things in them, it's your mind is more stressed and it's going to cause more stress in the body. Even if you don't feel it, like if you aren't like, like really stressed and tensed up about it and like, oh my god, oh my god, like you're still causing stress in your body. So I highly recommend you stop watching the news. The other thing I recommend is, you know, watch more comedy movies and less horror movies. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I honestly don't even like horror movies. I've only seen a few in my life and I'm just like, this is stupid. Like, 
like, I, first of all, I don't get, I, I don't feel fear or feel afraid when I watch a horror movie. So I'm like, I expect something to jump out every second. So I'm sitting there waiting for something to jump out, and something jumps out. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, and, and when you watch fear, you know, horror movies and fear-based movies, uh, a lot of times, you know, that causes fear in your body and tension and stress. You know, these are just little things, but all these things add up. The news, the horror movies, the, you know, whatever it may be. You know, it may even be like, you know, video games where you shoot people all the time. Like, all these things, like, people don't realize that when I was younger, I was like, oh, those, you know, those, those parents, those adults are crazy. Video games don't do that, and, but it actually does. What goes into your mind manifests and, and creates a, 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 you know, a connection throughout your body. So whatever comes into your mind has a big effect on your body. That's why it's very, very important to watch what you watch, watch what you listen to, watch who you interact with, watch who you're friends with. I mean, your environment is very important. So you got to be selective and picky and careful. And if your friends are telling you, you know, if your friends are just negative and they're, they're you know, they aren't true friends, get new friends. Forget that. Don't have any friends. It's better to have, you know, a few good friends than, you know, a hundred, you know, bad friends, if that makes sense. So it's more about quality over quantity. Um, so just focus on positive things. Watch more comedy movies. Comedies are awesome. I love to laugh. I, laugh. I absolutely love to laugh. Not only is it good for your health and your emotional state, but laughter is medicine, guys. It's going to help your emotional state relieve stress. It's going to help you heal quicker. Your body is going to, like, it's, it's amazing what laughter does. Um, I heard a story of someone actually getting rid of cancer, um, Pretty much by laughing and saying thank you for my healing it was literally all that she did and she said thank you for my healing every day and she watched comedy movies and she her cancer healed in her body so it's very powerful watch more comedy movies laugh more often smile please 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 smile more often the world needs more people to smile like I, and this is funny because I actually I'm considering starting a YouTube comedy channel because I have all these ideas for, you know, just comedy type stuff. And I know some of you guys might enjoy that. And I just need to get people laughing more often because I'm educating such. But people need to laugh more often and smile and joke and have a good time. The more your emotional state is positive, uh, happy, joyful, playful, the more beneficial your health is and your life is going to be. And the, the quicker your skin's going to clear up too. Because your body's going to be, it, it's just in a better vibrational state. Your body, everything in your body is based on an energy and a vibration. And when your body is low on energy, the vibration is slower. But when you give it nutrition, uh, like vitamins and minerals and a positive uh, mindset, uh, happiness, uh, fulfillment, all these things, the vibration starts to increase. The energy of your being, your body increases, which means you're healthier, you're happier, you're more fulfilled, etc. So um, it really just starts to, like, you know... Um, affect your, your skin and your health and your body like crazy. So um, I hope this video helps you guys out. I know I, got, I went on a lot of tangents, but I've been, you know, I've learned a lot and I, I just want to share with people. I know this can not only help you get rid of vacuum and have clear skin, but hopefully make that shift in your mindset to start shifting your mind so that you can start to believe that you can get rid of your acne and you can have clear skin again and start to change your mindset so you can start doing the right things and making the right choices to have clear skin feeling better, having more energy, feeling happier, being happier, and having just a better overall life in general. So um, that's what life is about, is being happy. That's, you know, that's really, really one of the biggest things out there, is being happy and, and giving and sharing and, and loving and caring. That's a rhyme. Giving and sharing and loving and caring. Aww. Heart. Heart. Anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> that's the end of this video. Uh, smile, meditate, watch some comedy movies. You are awesome. You are beautiful. I don't care what the magazines say. I don't care what Kim Kardashian, Paris Hilton, and all of them are wearing and talking about. You're beautiful, and you don't even know it yet. So you better start realizing your true beauty because it's both internal and external. You just need to find that out. So that's it for this video, guys. This is David Skin King from Acne, EracingSecrets.com. We are clearing the acne of the world 1% of the time, starting with you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel above if you like the videos and want to see more. Please hit the thumbs up to like the video below and comment on this video to leave your questions, thoughts, opinions, and feedback. I'd love to hear your thoughts and just positive energy, guys. Please give me positive energy. If you, if you want to hate, please go somewhere else and hate. Hate on the people that are destroying people's lives with pharmaceutical drugs and, and horrible acne treatments that make their health and their body worse. Go hate on them. But if you want to show me love and positive feedback, please leave those comments and positive uh, energy below. I really, really, really appreciate them. You have no idea how much they mean to me. And uh, favorite this video, share it on a playlist, share it on your channel, 
And uh, post on your Facebook, Twitter, blog, wherever. I love that you guys share my videos. It means so much to me. And I just want more of the world to have more of this positive energy and understanding of what you know the health and body means. So um, thanks for your time. And we'll see you on my website below. Take care and have an awesome rest of the day. Bye.